A three-headed frog. A three-headed frog? Yeah, there's a show called Strange Evidence, and that was on the commercial for it. I thought you were talking about the thing that was on the screen right now, and I was like, um, that is not a frog. Bestow the light of your life unto me! It's like a big That's crazy... A girl. Well, there's a girl, but there's also a big crazy dragon thing. Fantasy Star itself is technically a fantasy game. It's just sci-fi fantasy. Yeah. So, but magic has existed in this world, in this universe for so long that it's, at one point it was more like regular fantasy. Which is why the original Fantasy Star games exist on the SNES and such. Uh, which are complete, which their stories are technically in the same universe, but they're so far back that it's like they're you, they're not like you have no reason to play them. If you, they they don't really connect much at all, other yeah. than like maybe yeah. some nods to them. Which I think, in a way, the fifth episode to this game is a nod to the originals. That's why it said. That's why it's talking about this is this are basically is a recreation of past events. Uh huh. And I have no idea what sex is about because I never fucking played it. <laughs> oh, maybe you should go play it. Well, it's not out in the United States right now. And I still have to complete episode three right now in, in this one right now. Just because it's not out in the United States doesn't mean you can't find it and play it. Look, it's I mean, I could just go back to the Japanese game because I still, I'm pretty sure my account is still active. I could. There's nothing stopping me. I just don't want to. Would you do it if we all joined you for episode six? Um, you guys want to set up uh, Japanese Sega accounts? <laughs> I already have a Japanese Sega account. What, what did you need a Japanese Sega account for? Um, Poyo Poyo Tetris on Xbox. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> that's, that's actually true. <laughs> yeah, that's actually true. I didn't know you needed to make a Sega account for it, though. For, apparently, in order to play online on Xbox, you do. That's weird. Yeah, but is it is it an actual Japanese Sega account? Yes, because it was a Japanese. Because it, it was yeah, a Japanese. It, it was it was Japanese imported Puyo Puyo Tetris because it wasn't out in the U.S. at that point. Oh, okay. And then they, and, it, and they announced it for this like the Switch and stuff, and then I got the Cor American version. Corbin was mad that I got it before him a little bit. It was funny because we played through the story mode of that game, uh, and. Since it was all in Japanese and there were no like subtitles, we had to like I like looked up a video of of somebody who translated it, and I read all the dialogue. No, I thought it was voiced in English at that point. No, I wasn't. Yeah, but anyways, so that sounds like a very interesting uh, way to play a game. <laughs> Oh, maybe we should make Derek play the Japanese Puyo Puyo Tetris. I can always reinstall it. Why? What's the point when we have the American one now? So you can see the Japanese. It. I mean, to be fair... To be fair, yeah, sure. But, I mean, is there any particular difference? Besides um, the... language? Mm, well... I already see the difference in fantasy. I'm worried I word it differently. I mean, yeah. I, some of the it's... voices I honestly think are better. Like, actually, the voices uh, kind of... <laughs> the voice for one of the characters kind of ruined the character for me, if I'm being honest, in the English version. <laughs> but that's about it. Honestly, honestly, in, um, in the translation, I was curious. The first thing I did when I tried uh, the Fantasy Star English release is I wanted to know what everyone sounded like. And the... the Honestly, the only thing I, the only thing I kind of obsessed over to a degree is the fact that they made your, your quote unquote partner. I mean, you you don't really have to keep him as a partner at all. He just basically the first guy that you run into, and he ends up calling you partner all the time. Afin, they made him goddamn Australian. 
I was like, what the fuck? Like, could I keep mate? No, he just calls you mate all the time and shit. <laughs> he didn't say could crikey. I he does not say crikey. There's no point reason for him to say crikey. No crikey, oh, Dan, I'm sorry. No crocodile hunter reference. You know, not. I mean, and also, um, what's it? Io, the first Dooman you run into, because I still love the w the way they freaking introduced the Dooman's in the in the anime when they did it. That was so fucking hilarious. By the way, if anyone wants to watch the anime, it's twenty four episodes, and they made it significantly after the game released. They basically. There's two animes for Fantasy Star Online 2. There's the one just titled Fantasy Star Online 2 and the one titled Episode Oracle. Online 2 was like a, um, a side thing when they released Episode 4. But they released when Episode 4 came out. That was uh. a side story. It was a side story. It, wasn't, it was entirely not in the game at all. And then people were like, man, about that anime. And then way later, they decided, okay, let's, let's basically remake the first three episodes in an anime. And that's what they did. That's what Episode Oracle is. Oh. So if you wanted to go through the entire plot of the first three episodes of the game without playing through it, because the story mode in, in Fantasy Star is entirely optional. You can just completely ignore it for all they care because it's an online game and your main thing is just kind of chilling out with friends and fucking leveling and shit. You can just completely just like, ah, I don't feel like doing that. I don't know what this thing is, but it just kind of looks like Dumbledore's Pensieve from Harry Potter. <laughs> so if you don't feel like doing it anytime soon and you're curious on what the hell the plot is, uh, that anime is a good option. It's 24, no, it's like 25 episodes long, I believe. And it covers... You, we're doing say it was 24, though. I gotta look it up. It's I, I freaking watched it entirely on my Hulu account that I was talking about earlier. Oh, I don't know. I didn't actually watch the entire one. I actually watched some of it on Funimation go or whatever. I think about it. First. But I watched it. Just above I feel I finished it because I was literally watching it as the episodes released because it just came out like it just finished this year. That's how recent it is. I'm also very concerned about Colony Nine. I understand. Thank you. Yeah, it's 25 episodes. I might have said a few things I shouldn't have back in the mine. When did Forgive it finish, me. anyways? No, it's okay. I owe you my life, young man. I'll never forget it, heir to the moon. Uh, I think it was finished in March before, Medic, like, you stay with them. when this shit I, all started hitting the fan. I want to help Shulk. The Mekon must pay for what they did. And I'm sure Gado is still alive somewhere. If he is, I have to find him. Find him Oh, uh, let's too. see. Also, I hate that they made a. They basically made a a recap episode in Are the middle. Sure? Yeah. Someone made a video of what happened between books two and three while Angle was asleep in Avatar. Monado, but I'm just slowing you down. I just found it interesting. No way, kid. Uh oh, Juju is like leaving. Me. It's okay. I've made up my mind. Can we have? He's you going guys, to go rebuild so the colony now. Pretty useless. But that's cool. <laughs> because I know what I can do. He just said, compared to you guys, I'm pretty useless. But that's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the colony. And also, uh, watching through that anime is actually probably, in a way, uh, it, it, it's still nice to do even if you've already played through the story because it's much more fleshed out and actually has a single main character that's actually addressed by name instead of... Well, to be fair, you are technically addressed by name, but at the same time, you're not. The it's basically there's voice acting, but the sec but the second it, it reaches them. your name, it, it'll it'll say like you or something else that's generic Colony and not actually your name. <laughs> that's like then how that's, and the subtitle says your name. That's like how whenever um it says your name in Persona Four, uh, Yosuke says partner instead of your name. Yeah. I guess well, uh, I mean, to be fair, this ain't the last you'll see of me. they didn't make a fix be that right per se now. because they Look after the they almost always refer to you in it. Persona Five you as Joker. Down. You're like, yeah, that. I mean, they they just kind of like found a way around it because 
There's no way to change that name. So. You'll make us proud, sure. I mean, they could have been Bethesda and pre-programmed -gro names into the dialogue. And then if you picked a common name, it would use it. You, on the other hand, need to buck up your <laughs> I'm ideas. sad they didn't do that for Skyrim. That would have been so cool. Well, you? the problem is... Thanks for the heads is up. they weren't even thinking about that. And Good then luck. they did the bold See thing ya. in freaking Fallout 4 that we're going to make the main character voice acted, which some people were like... Which... There's it, that's a good and bad thing. It made so they had a lot more, a lot less options when it came to uh, adding in stuff and uh, all that. Because whenever they added in stuff or you mod something, a story thing into the game, you can't really get full dialogue because it just feels strange when your character just doesn't used the same voice so i mean there's a way to get around that which is doing weird uh mixed audio of the voice or b you just do silent with subtitles but it just kind of feels off mm. True. oh my gosh okay never mind when the entire game is voice acted and all of a sudden you go into like a mod or something and it's silent with subtitles or weird mixed audio of the main character's voice. Ooh, glowy. Oh nice, another bird I have to fight. Cause you know how easy it is to freaking uh, just throw. Well, to be fair, New Vegas has a lot of freaking quest mods at this point. Well, in new areas. To be fair, some of them aren't even done yet. To be fair, Mar <laughs> the main like Marwin expansion project mod that's been is still freaking deep developed in that game from 2001. They've been at it for like 20, almost 20 years. <laughs> Oh yeah, I need to still mess around with that, but I haven't got, I haven't messed around with it because we were, I was playing with my brothers, because they're doing the multiplayer mod, and I wanted to do it with them. But the problem is, my brother Andrew has zero freaking time to do shit. So maybe I should just like, not, <laughs> not include him anymore. Oof. I'm just gonna. Hey. It's yeah. not my fault. <laughs> hey, it's not my fault. He work. He works. Uh, at least sixty hours a week. That's a lot of time. He basically works forty. He he works at Meyer like I do, but he's third shift, and he works forty hours there. But he still kept his last job working for our um, our great aunt and uncle at their janitorial, which he only works about twelve hours a week. But he also cleans our great aunt's house too for her because she's incapable of doing it at this point. Um. So that's a that 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 that's basically three jobs, but two of them are much he works a lot less than working at Meyer, which is forty hour work weeks. Yeah. So he he, he works about sixty hours a week. To be fair, that's probably kind of funny. Speaking of that, I mean Matt that's impressive. So, to be but to be fair, hilariously enough, when we we're at Matt's house, he was talking about he he used to get sixty hour weeks on his job that I actually first uh, realized he had. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember the, jan that. the, the janitorial. <laughs> he used to work for KBS, which is the janitorial people at my, for Meyer. Looks like it's been broken for a while. We'll have to find another way up. Another way. You don't mean climb up there. I only saw him a couple times at well I was working because he was basically the cover guy. Typically uh the two guys that uh do uh let's see three of them. I can't remember what the chick's name is. Cause I, I know Kurt, I know Brian. Especially especially because everyone calls Brian Santa Claus <laughs> half time. Because he legitimately looks like a freaking uh mall Santa. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair though, uh, 
A cop will not vote. Well, most yeah. cops, unless they are really hard there. trying to meet their certain their quota for their whatever time period, I can't I don't know how how often their quota is. They have to pull over a certain amount of people or whatever. I'd like to ask your permission uh, to most cops will not pull you over unless you exceed five over the speed limit. Yeah, I know that. But I need it to achieve my goal. Because so if you're driving a one or two, they don't give it. Two fucks. If you drive you six over, well, you're getting pulled over. And then even if you're driving it's over, if besides, if you're the first person out of a group, they pull over the last people, not the first. Really? Yeah, that's what they do. I mean, I guess it's easier to get them because uh, they're well, the behind. Well, th there's the problem that with pulling over the first. You interrupt traffic. They I interrupt traffic because they pull over the first. Yeah. So they do the last. So basically, you gotta make sure if you're in a group that if you're following a group that's speeding, don't be the last. And if you are the last, slow the fuck down before a cop sees you. Yeah. Never lying down. Never giving up. Just be the guy who who sits there at the speed limit after the last person on the line. Just be in the middle because then you can't like get in trouble for anything because you're just trying to keep up with traffic. Yeah, and then um, and we have to make sure those. Cause wait, wait, did you ever see the? Did you ever see the true fact about the uh freaking uh teenagers that drove the actual speed limit on the highway for a while? Uh, no, I don't think so. There was a there's a true fact about I can't remember where it was, but basically a bunch of uh like I think they were university students or something. Uh, drove the speed limit in a section of the expressway and backed up traffic for miles because they did it. Wow. That tells you how many people speed on the expressway. Yeah. <laughs> that tells you. Please, I would have laughed if, if a cop pulled him over and be like, can you please just speed up? <laughs> just start just, just go, start speeding just a all little it, bit. All it takes all it takes to back up the expressway is getting a group of people to actually drive the speed limit. What is this? Guy? That's just really I, funny. I know, I know what we gotta do. But if once we all get our license, we have to do it one day. Why? Just for the hell of it. <laughs> just to just to see see how far you can back up the traffic in it. Oh. here because it's not going to back it up as far because it's not as busy as an area but it's it's going to back up traffic yeah. no doubt like the bionis isn't really dead huh? and watch this matt getting the game pulled over and being says go faster because um speed limit on the uh, expressway is 70. right most people dri drive at least 80. some people drive 90 or 100 defending Okay, if you drive a hundred, you're insane. I've 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 driven up to a hundred, but that was only for a bit. Which is the hell of it. I've only I think the highest I've gone is eighty five. Uh, I, I, I I'm like in a real a big hurry to get to work or something. Well, I don't have to drive on the expressway. The only time I drive on the expressway is when I'm going down to my dad's or something. When we do this, we'll just plan a trip to go up to some random place. We'll just tell Matt that's just the plan. Just the that's, okay, that's like the, that's the only time I've actually had to drive on the expressway is basically driving to my dad's house. Uh, I mean, we I've never been on a trip driving myself. I've been to the Mantu Islands, Mackinac Island. That those were the main trips I've gone. Yeah, to. but I'm I'm saying trips where I drove myself. You I have you course. should have zero of those. I hope you have zero of those. I would plead the fifth. <laughs> I cannot speak for Japan. <laughs> so, anyways, oh, yeah, that's um, right. You live in Japan. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, I've only driven to my dad's by myself. Which actually, I've driven. I had to drive back by myself one more time. One time, which basically consisted of it was night. Dri it was night. And uh, it basically consisted of singing whatever I had playing on the radio and driving, which 
Honestly, it's not that much different than what I usually would have went through. You know why? Because right. of some what you do. Because most of the time I've driven back, I've driven back to my brother Tristan, and my brother Tristan likes to send his phone not talking to the entire car ride. Mm. So it's not that much different. I mean, I'm kind of the same when I'm just sitting in the passenger seat. Kind of. At least you would try try to engage in the music or something. Cause like, whenever I freaking do on long car, they always play off my freaking phone. Like I was playing for a bit when I was riding with when I was driving Tim around today. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Oh. Ha ha! <laughs> When someone, own, when someone owns a Mustang, it's just innately valuable, because it's a freaking Mustang. No, what's the most innately valuable car is a Ferrari. Well, I'm talking about between our cars, which consists of a Pontiac Grand Am, which is probably the most budget car in our entire driveway, a Ford Taurus, a Jeep Grand Cherokee, a 96 Jeep Grand Cherokee, my uh, 04 Le Sabre, and an 05 Mustang, which by the way, the Taurus is an 04, or an 06, not an 04, and the Pontiac is an 04. Face nemesis. So yeah, Your frame is complete. not only, that Mustang is the second newest car, because technically the Taurus the is newer, transfer. but the Taurus also hilariously has the second most miles on it. I hope you know what the, uh, the, the other, the, the most miles on it is, uh, does a weapon exist of course, the uh, 96 armor? Grand Cherokee. Because <laughs> the 96. <laughs> but it's not. But Understood. it did spend a lot of time Generally not being used because. Um, what's it called? Uh, Ryan. It's Ryan's vehicle, and Ryan got it off of a got a guy he knows for a grand because he basically completely didn't use it for like quite a few years. You and it was just singing his driveway. Can bring about a his country driveway. No, the entire world. I say that because um, Lady you're bound to get a uh, a whole lot of more uh, weathering out in the country than you are in the city. So, yeah. <laughs> All things considering, though, it's on it. It doesn't look terrible at all. The the most uh, visible rust rust on that that Jeep is basically the um, back the um, trunk door. I am the trunk door because it doesn't technically have a trunk. It just has a back door. The heck? Because <laughs> the Jeep. Everyone's car it has its own wear and tear in a way. My, the one I, I, I just got that car recently, like I said. That one, the only thing I have in terms of rust is I have a bit on the bottom of the doors. Which I... Yeah, another little paint can't fix. Which I could... are now in a jungle. Which I could, like, get removed through whatever and then repaint it. But it doesn't look terrible at all. Lady Melia! What's funny is one of those terrible discussions about cars is a car out of my TV. Car on your TV? Yeah. Car on your TV? Yeah. Car on your TV? Car on your TV? Yeah, car dad. For a car. I didn't actually see what, what, what kind of car it was. Like I saw it was an ad for a car. Oh, so there's. That's why I figured that was. I'm not that kind of. A three-headed frog. A three-headed frog. Yeah, there's a show called Strange Evidence, and that was on the commercial for it. I thought you were talking about the thing that was on the screen right now, and I was like, um, that is not a frog. Bestow the light of your life unto me. It's like a big That's tree. Girl. Well, there's a girl, but there's also a big grazy dragon thing. The dragon's name is is Toothless. We shall call okay. him Toothless. No one, no, no wonder I did. Because oh, there's three heads. I, 
No wonder I haven't seen much of that. I was curious about that. I saw an image and I was like, that looks like the Nekupara cat girls. And then I was like, I know what it looks like, you know why? Donovan has Nekupara on his computer. And he's played it a bit. Tim's I do not have that on my Steam account. Tim's watched Nekopara. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, the anime. I didn't realize the, I didn't realize the anime came out, but I saw an image, I was like, that looks very similar to this. And then I was like, oh, the anime did come out in January of this year. <laughs> yep, it's completely dubbed, too. We must be outside the tower. Welcome I've watched it all. True it's very good. Father. Well, it's about... Cat girls. Honestly, I'd want. Honestly, though, um, I'd want something more along the lines of um, what's that? So, what that? What's that manga called that I've been reading? Uh, I've been trying to keep. I've been keeping up to date on it, but where the heck? Uh, I'd I'd want something about cat girls like that, which is interesting. Basically, a disease, well, a syndrome of sorts that some people are born with, that, uh, makes, uh, young girls into cat girls. And the main character is a shy, FPS-playing gamer girl cat girl. <laughs> that reminds me of the, uh, the thing in Valhalla where they, like, there's, like, some sort of disease caused by the nanomachines, and they have to turn themselves into... They have to turn themselves into cat people to uh, not die, <laughs> or some people Next just up. some people just do it because they feel like it. The um, the uh, Japanese name for the manga is ne Nekosume Shokugen. No it tip. probably has a Japanese Japanese version in the anime. I don't know. Not think, every uh, manga probably... has an anime, Tim. I don't think this one has an anime yet. It only has, um... It currently has 79 chapters to it. I'm already caught up on it, though. Also, Corbin, the best cat girl is obviously Neko. I mean... Does she count, though? Because she's actually just a cat. <laughs> yes, she does. We will count her. Okay. Alright, thinking of which, I have not used this in a while. Where is it? I don't think Derek even knows who Neko is. Um, I could, I could not, I don't know. Have you seen Project K? No. Then you don't. It's a pretty good anime. Me and you still have to finish the second season of that. I keep forgetting that exists. Return of the King. We also have Gohan's. We are now in forest with giant tree. Is it the tr is it the world tree? No. That's the where that, a... that's where the Napon village is though. It might be a world tree, we don't know that for sure. It's not. Oh yeah, and here have a gif of the main character of the uh of the manga I was just talking about. If I look at that I'm gonna go find the manga, that's why Corbin said no. Have a gif. I see you can't tell. You can't tell by the uh, this. So I, I, I think ah. I have to post more news now. You can't tell by the uh, the gift, but uh, she has uh, multicolored eyes. She is adorable. What do you mean by multicolored? Like uh, heterochromia, or are they or the yeah. eyes are okay. Yeah. Heterochromia. I will give you a another picture of her, but not as a gift. Adorableness. <laughs> Corbin, may I please have a cat girl? You already have a dragon girl. You don't need to. Which, uh, I'm you taking gotta, this from... You gotta pick uh, Tim. <laughs> I'm taking this... I'm currently taking this from our, our weeb shit channel, which basically consists of, we consisted for a while, which we haven't used it much in it for quite some time. It's basically the, um... The uh, any manga roulette where you basically roll waifus and shit. That thing. I, ha I have I have her claimed in our server because I rolled her and I was like, yes. None shall have except me. 
Do you know you know how my top three are though. My my others are self explanatory my others are self explanatory if you actually saw what's the, the books I have in my room. Mm. The other two. But you probably don't know that. Uh I have I Polo from Spice and Wolf and Mayuri from Wolf and Parchment, the sequel series. Oh yeah. Which I still need to read the third book. I read I read the first two books and I need to read the the third book for of that. I have the entirety the entire manga of Spice and Wolf in my room. Nice. The only manga I have in my room is the Splatoon manga. <laughs> I have a Zelda manga. So if uh, anyone wants to read through that, because I already read through it like twice, feel free. Maybe I'll steal it from you at some point. Anyways, um... It's actually got Ganon that curses them to be reincarnated. Cool. But anyways, um... Wait, Ganon? You mean Demise? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I call him Ganon no matter what. He's Ganondorf. Not, that's not Ganon, though. That's a completely different person. He looks oh, like yeah. Ganon. He's, He's Ganon. But anyway... He's not... But anyway. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He's like but anyways, a really weird, scaly-looking dude with fire coming out of his head. Yeah, but anyways, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, and by the way, just 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 uh, to clarify what I was just saying about Yasuo, here's the explanation of why he's a complete asshole. Really stupid mobility, double crit chance, and he has a wall that literally blocks any projectile in the game. Uh -huh. So basically, the first boss from from Skyward Sword. But double, but it, it's a competitive game, and you give a guy double crit chance. The only downside to his double crit chance is his crits do ten percent less damage. Oh. <laughs> well, ten percent is nothing when he literally uh, gets a, two items, and he's already can literally crit every attack. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to everyone else in the game who has to, which by the way, you get a maximum of six items you can make, you can buy throughout your, the game. He, it takes him two. It takes everyone else four. It, are, it takes everyone else two thirds of the items they get. It takes him one third. <laughs> and then the rest what? he can dedicate to entire, to complete damage, which will make up for the fact that his crits do ten percent less easily. <laughs> I think we all need to get some sleep soon. Yeah, oh, I bet I, I should have been in bed two hours ago. All right, I have work tomorrow morning. I just want to. I just want to get to the new party member. We don't have to get the party member yet, but I want to get to where they are. The best party yeah. member, actually. The Napan. Not so. Napan is second yeah. best party member. Who is the first best party member? Oh. I mean, we've already Remember. seen her, but if you don't, if you weren't paying attention, you'll see her in a minute. You're not getting out of this one. You're kind of help if, if Matt needs us on Friday still. On Friday, I'm being gonna be at work. When you get out of work. Well, when does when's he gonna need help? Now the oh. Yeah. So wait, when 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 is your usual shift in terms of work? Uh, from like. 8.30 to 4.30, but I don't get home until, like, 5 to 5.30. Is it because you uh, work far away, or you, it takes time to get picked up and stuff? I work, like, half an hour away. And oh, I okay. I ride there with my dad, and sometimes my dad has more stuff to okay. do after I'm done, so... I mean, if you want to get out slightly earlier, I could pick you up. Hey, are you okay? <laughs> if that's... Big. If he has stuff to do. You... If you aren't getting picked up quick enough. Well, if I... I wouldn't know about that until after sure. work got out anyways. So it would still take you 30 minutes after I tell you to come get me anyways. Or you just... Or you just, or you just set up... Uh, or you just tell, your, tell, you, tell your dad you don't get, you'll get picked up by a friend. And then I just know ahead of time. That's up to you. Uh, I'll speak fun. on their own. She yeah, <laughs> any I have nothing to do, so I'm, I'm just suggesting things because I just go to work at 5 a.m. and then I I just don't do anything for the rest rest of the day. Her <laughs> suggest ether Most of the time, 
well known that but I said to hear play video games talk to people but I wish I had less like stuff to do before. the only reason I'm still playing streaming this game is because I really want to and I am pushing all the other stuff off to the side as a result what other stuff uh, well, I guess to put into perspective, the only stream that I have edited videos out of is the first one for this, and I haven't even finished editing the Torna streams. You should really go do that. <laughs> okay, but I'll do that after I finish all my homework. When's your homework? Saturday, but I, I don't... I, it's... Really difficult to do art after work because I'm so tired. What can we do? Well, I thought that. We need water type ether crystals. Mm. I'll load the crystals into the cartridge have... to shoot. Get a monster. Rifle. You'll be good. Hey? You, you're gonna shoot her. Well, I think I'm the only one who drinks I'll coffee. I'll into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. Matt well, does. Well, 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 yeah, I know, I know Matt does, but I do you too. Mm -hmm. I've tried any old once and don't really care for it. Most people, most people don't hear that, or they most people don't hear that, or they they eat, drink that freaking crap that isn't coffee anymore at the point it's at. Wait, tried what? Coffee. Oh, sometimes. Not, I don't. I, I don't tried drink it. it all the time though. This I haven't tried an iced coffee or anything. I just tried a regular coffee. I've tried Starbucks. Like, <laughs> regular coffee, do you mean coffee you with creamer in it or totally black coffee? I've tried both. My grandfather okay. used to like it with black and... I tried black coffee. Don't like it. Well, well most, people, like, most people don't. It's really bitter. Yeah. It just tastes like water to me. How does it only taste like water? It's typically, for most people, it tastes, the it tastes really bitter. It's like bitter water. It's just something, <laughs> bitter it's just water. something, it's just been something that now most of my family thinks of. That most of me and my, most guys in my mom's side of my family apparently taste what tastes coffee like. Well, most people just drink it for the caffeine, anyways. But I typically drink coffee with creamer in it. I can drink it black. I don't care. I thought but you I, said. I prefer it. I thought you said most people drink it for the cat pee for a second. No, caffeine. Most people drink it for the caffeine in it because in terms of uh, most other things, it has lots of caffeine in it, not really any sugar, unless you put sugar into it. And at that point, you're just making a freaking frappe or some shit, and it's not even an actual coffee. So hi, it's just Shulk by himself, and now we're going to save here. So that, yeah, Shulk, is, so that Shulk is forever alone until I load up the save file again. <laughs>